Don't you know who you are? You are more than the choice that you've made. You are more than the sum of your past mistakes. You So there had to be one limitation to this really great lock on the Protec knife. And if you go back and watch the video of me testing this knife, uh, you will see that even with all the dirt and mud inside of it, the, the knife still locked. And so it's really good except for one issue now. You can see how hard it is to open. Like it doesn't even... Without oil, it becomes very stiff. So I'm going to actually add... There's a little bit of oil right now. Let's see how that changes the story. You can see. And I think we're back to oh yeah. Okay, I'll work it in more. But wow, why? You can still see. Look, it made my finger bleed flicking it open. Still, just kind of coarse inside there. That. The pivot isn't really like super smooth. And just once that gunk from all that mud got in there, it just really messed up that pivot area. No, nothing like when it first uh, came from the factory. Now this is just my experience with this knife, uh, but for me, I'm going to assume uh, that if I take this outdoors and I drop it in some water and some mud, that you know I'm not going to have no problem uh, making the lock still engage. And I don't have to worry about taking the knife apart to do that, but I will run into the issue that it's going to start to get really like stiff the action, and to open it will become a very big challenge. So that kind of loses that sort of quick deployment thing. Uh, earlier it was really jamming, and I had to use like two hands, I would say almost, but it's doable. But you can see, I mean, it's just hard to open. Uh, even with now this oil inside, I put some more. I mean, now I'm really like I'm flooding that pivot. Let's see. I mean, for better or worse, it, you know, it's, it's back to, to functioning. You can hear it. So you saw in the previous clip that this knife has a little bit of issues when uh, there's no oil in the pivot. Uh, just after some, some use in the mud and some water, uh, it definitely affects it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to take a look at the, the lock and how it works. This is a very nice combination that comes with the pouch. Right now it's still got uh, a fair bit of uh, uh, rem oil I put in it. Uh, not because I recommend rem oil, just that's what I had in, at the moment. But you can still see it's it's just not... Just. So maybe after a good cleaning uh, it will be fine. So I do want to re-emphasize one more time that me opening my knife, taking it apart, and everything I'm about to say are not the claims of the manufacturer Protec, and these might wo void your warranty, but this is just for the sake of uh, education and me learning and you guys seeing it too. Um, the the company, you know, presentation maybe is a little bit sterile, and we look at the logo, you know, Protec, and it just seems really well organized, but. Uh, it's important to remember actually the owner, uh, David Wattenberg, he's always around, uh, he's at the shows all the time presenting his own stuff, uh, so that it's it's still a, I would say, I guess you would say family owned kind of operation here, not really as corporate as it kind of gives off. You can see he has those kind of screws, so. Two things to note, there is a, you need two sizes uh, for the screws, which are a little bit smaller, and then the, the pivot just one size up. So the screws are pretty good quality. Uh, definitely, uh, I can feel that when I'm, when I'm taking it apart right now. Okay, seems like most of it should pop off now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see how it comes apart, huh guys? When the knife comes apart, you can see here, there's the three screws. So there's a stop pin. Uh, the screws screw directly in to the aluminum. Here is the the blade stop. Well, it stops and hits the blade right here so that it doesn't touch the, the scale. 
and back here is just a little pin to hold everything in place just like you know, by friction the back screws also screw into the back spacer not just into the uh, the uh, aluminum but also into this spacer right here it's pretty nice that's definitely been very secure I mean you got all that threading to hold it in place as you can see on this top one the screw goes a fair amount here's the spring really good tension uh, goes under, under here there's a lot of room on one side uh, of the blade there was this washer it's not foster bronze that's how it was when it came out hmm maybe just too much pressure so here's the actual button itself it's a solid piece fits right in there so here's a close-up of all the design details So I think I found the reason why it was the action was so stiff. You can see on the inlet right here, since that washer goes in there, I think it's trapping some of that dirt. You can see everything is coated. The whole thing has a this black coating on it, so you can see there was no points of rust anywhere. You can see the pocket clip taps right into the aluminum, but it doesn't go all the way through. The pocket clip screws, rather than the hex shape, go down to torque style screws so, so that would be like three different types of screws you have to use uh, tools you have to have on you to, to fix this and all these screws I did see Loctite on them so I've never had any of the screws loosen and the tension right now even with the Miori breaking Loctite is definitely very solid you can see how much is actually tapped into the scale itself it's a fair amount so even though it doesn't go all the way through uh, it's a lot that actually goes into the actual scale so I've never sensed any movement in the pocket clip and I can see with the, the tapping going that deep into the scale that it's just a very solid area, uh, no issues in that area at all. You know, there's three screws holding them, so very good. So the blade actually just sits on these permanent sort of raised fixed washer. Why do that? I, I don't know. This one's screwed in, these seem all press fitted so everything is not falling around. As you can see there's still a gap. The washer doesn't make contact with the pivot. So here we can get an idea of how the lock works. Normally when the spring is in this little dumbo, it pushes it up and it locks. It's right inside that, that groove. And then when you come back around, you see, and right now, there's no spring in here. But you can see the machining on the, the blade itself. You see how it has that little slight slope right there? On only one side. So when locked, the dumbbell raises up and goes completely into that portion and you can see the blade won't fail. And then when unlocked, the blade slides around and you can see right here now, there's enough to where it pushes down into it, you see it won't push further. But you can see it because it's not sitting on a solid edge, because that edge is slightly sloped. it acts like a detent so this and the actual spring tension from it just kinda of resting there is the detent for the blade uh, but you can overcome it because of that, that edge so you can just roll off that edge and then go back around to lock so it's a very interesting design I mean in concept it's very simple but I think in execution wow there's a lot of little details definitely a lot I'm putting the knife together Seems like it could be a challenge with the spring. I got the spring in there. Put the blade in place. Okay. It's so basically it's locked right now. I think there's some tension just holding everything in place right now. And I'll put the other piece back over it. Let me get some more lube over here. Okay.
trying to get a lot of pieces to fit all at once. It's definitely not the most simple, but nor I guess the it's not possible. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so you guys saw that. I mean, there's a lot of complexity here. I mean, so the design you can see is, the concept of it's very simple, but to to get that all those scales and everything, I don't know why he didn't choose uh, maybe just to put washers in there. You know, maybe that would maybe affect things, maybe not make it as good. I don't know. I mean, he did keep less parts, and so that made it simple. But I, I do think maybe that's one of the reasons, perhaps, why the action isn't as smooth. This screw actually does affect. Uh, since you're applying, you know, when you screw it, it applies direct pressure on the blade. The two longer screws obviously go for the back, and then the shorter screw will go up towards the the pivot area. Because it is machine aluminum, I don't want to like uh, try to torque it too much. I'm, I am worried about the threading uh, inside. Uh, I would say simply because there just there is so much uh, threading that goes all the way in that even if I didn't screw it all the way in, uh, I think it's fine. So I didn't overly tighten these screws at all. And uh, so, yeah, it's better. Uh, let's turn to the blade play. There's always a little bit of movement. If tightened all the way, it's all gone, but then the knife is, <laughs> so it's just kind of the nature of this, this knife. Um, you can kind of adjust the tension to what you want. Uh, if I go really loose, like it's and completely loose, um, the blade is still centered. And I think just because uh, all the so that's really impressive. Actually, all the tolerances. You I mean that just means all this is just keeping everything straight in line, and everything's just held so that this blade sits still centered, even without really any attention here on the screw. Because I think I can unscrew this with here. You guys can see. Screws actually coming out, yet the blade is still centered. Now, one person posted a comment saying that after uh, me showing this lock and not fail in the mud, uh, that I sold them on another Protec. And uh, now that I have some more, uh, as I'm taking this apart and seeing more about it, yeah, this knife is really, really impressive. This lock, you know, the way it's situated in there, and the, you saw how it locked. That even this, I mean, like I said, without the screw, let's see. I mean, I would. I want to guess this, so we can see it right now. Let's test this idea. So you can see, here's the this, the pivot screw. So it's not even whatsoever screwed in place. Blade's still centered. Knife is locked. Okay. Knife didn't fail. Blade still centered. See, it's such an amazing design. It's really good quality. Wow.